Records show thousands of JCPS students are failing their classes this school year. We detail the plans in place to help students get back on track. Some students are still feeling the effects of the pandemic from when students were learning online. Some parents tell us that students with decent grades before are still struggling two years later. With students with failing grades from the first semester, 65% of those are also chronically absent. WDRB requested just how many students are failing. Records show this school year in the first semester, 13,325 students failed a class. That's 15.3% of the district. Most are in high school. The failing class rate is still better than last school year when 25% of JCPS students were failing at least one class. Before the pandemic, the number was 13.5%. Carmen Coleman is a JCPS chief academic officer, says getting kids back on track has no doubt been a challenge. Many students will need extra academic help because of learning disruptions caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. The pandemic is starting to um, maybe, you know, move in a, in a better direction. The top five high schools with the highest number of students with at least one failing class, Western High School with 50.7%, Valley High School and Fairdale High School at nearly 50%, and rounding out the top five, Jefferson Town High School and Fern Creek High School. With graduation on the minds of many high school seniors, Coleman says high schools are still looking at who will graduate. Students have until July 31st as far as seniors and graduation. You know, they can we that's the deadline. That's the state deadline. Um, you know, we've got to get them graduated and we will we will move heaven and earth to try to make that happen. And with learning loss and some students still struggling, there is still help available even after the school year ends. You know, we are providing summer support, the opportunity to um, recover those credits. Of course, now that we've all learned um, a lot about um, virtual teaching and virtual learning, certainly that helps. The district expects to accommodate 10,000 students in summer learning opportunities this year. Schools will directly recruit students who need the most help academically to enroll in summer programs like the Backpack League. We will have credit recovery hubs at every site. Um, so we are trying to go at this from many different angles. On WDRB.com, you can find out where your school stands for students failing classes. Education reporter Kevin Wheatley has that breakdown in his story online.